Ladies and gentlemen, I honestly think today's video is just gonna be a wave of pure nostalgia. And I say that because the other day I was cleaning out my wardrobe right and I was like, you know what, I've got a lot of random stuff in there that I haven't looked through through like years and years of just like building up paperwork. And under all of that paperwork were the Southern Islands binder. So I was curious, I was like, what's inside of this Southern Islands binder? Cause I don't remember what I put in here. Now, honestly guys, I think the best way to show you the cards inside is an HD close up because the, this is just ridiculous find. I can't believe it still, but check this out. I can't believe this cause EX cards are some of my favorite. The Sparkle, the E series on the Chance EX, the X Bloud. I remember pulling half of these. And even though like this Suicune right here got a bit of a damage, this is what Pokemon card collecting is all about. I love Rocket Suicune EX, Kyoga EX. I know you guys are going to be freaking out about some of these cards. So these right here, or these two right here, they're pulled from the Fire Red Leaf Green Booster Box I opened on the channel. Does anyone remember that? Got two Flygons, Steelix, Metagross. Oh my gosh, got the Delta Species Kingdra as well. This Jolteon is ridiculous. Very mint condition, Skeptile. Um, I remember this Electabuzz as well. Mariana, we got Lapras, Arcanine, and this is where it gets a bit crazy. Pop Series Ho-Ho EX, that is a slapper. Also got the Celebi EX, I know this is a very, very popular card. I think that Blaziken looks ridiculous. And this is where the slappers were. I'm gonna show you guys what was in these slots right here in a second, because I took them out, I wanna grade them, they're that good. Shining Noctowl, bit of a hint to what's to come. Look at this. Dark Magneton First Edition Holo. That's from the Wizard of Coast Team Rocket. Then we've got the Secret Rare Meowth with the crest right there, textured. Secret Rare Blastoise with the full textured gold right there. You can see the water logo. This is so sick. And then on the back, we got the movie promos. Then, does anyone play Magic the Gathering? Is this a good card? I'm not sure why it's in the binder, but must have been sent to Mailman Monday. But in terms of what was inside of the missing slots right here, Check this out. This right here is a Crystal Nido King that we pulled out of the Quapolis Booster Box and it's in pristine condition. The like, marks you see are just on the top loader. I can't wait to get this graded. That is a find, right? But you, like, you might remember all these. I bought them all and showed them off on the channel. Then we got Shining Raichu, which I bought off eBay. Now this card's not in like the greatest condition. I think like it's for me enough to get graded, but it's just one of my favorite Neo Destiny cards, if not my favorite, absolutely. I think the background, the texture is awesome. And it's competing with, look at this, a Shining Magikarp. Oh my, this is peak Pokemon cards, guys. And I also found a McDonald's promo Charmander. This thing is PSA 10 for sure, just like the Nido King. Oh, I can't believe we found this, guys. What do you think of the binder? This is the most fun and most nostalgic experience finding old Pokemon items like this. And it was all perfect because then I got a message from Vintage Pokemon Hunter who sent me this. Hey there, Pokemon community. My name is Anthony Nunez, also known as Vintage Pokemon Hunter on Instagram. I am sending out this wonderful care package here to Mr. Unlisted Leaf himself for all that he's done over the years for the Pokemon community, helping it grow not only here on YouTube, but just worldwide and again i really do appreciate you ando thank you so much and i'm really excited to send him this mystery box full of rare unique pokemon items for collecting pokemon seriously as an adult i also played gears of war actually on the xbox at the professional level never really stopped up until about when i took over seriously this pokemon business now that i have it's been two years that i have been doing this full time buying selling trading but also collecting pokemon as you can see i'm a collector of all things pokemon the toys the food items the store displays all this kind of stuff that you see behind me i've been a collector like as an adult since 2013 where the first thing that i bought was this here sealed pokemon blue version it was either this or a base set booster box that was going to be my first purchase. And I'm really happy that it was that blue version. Going and getting that blue version with my father back at Toys R Us. I could still remember that right now. I could picture myself literally getting it off the shelf. So that was really important to me. And I'm happy that I grabbed that back in the day. But yeah, I just wanted to make a quick intro. Just introducing myself to you guys and to Ando a little bit. 
Thank you, man, for everything you've done again, and I really appreciate it. I really do hope you enjoy the mystery box. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the package from the Vintage Pokemon Hunter. I know, how flippin' epic is that name? So, I've been waiting for this for, I want to say, a couple of weeks now. He said, Ando, it's going to take a while to source some of the crazy vintage items I want to send you, but it's totally going to be worth it. All right, let's open the flipping door. I just see a lot of red, and that means Pokemon Vintage, like the classic... Yo, I don't even know where to start. I want to just do the- I'm just going to do the biggest thing first. It's probably like... Oh my! This is going to be the best video ever. Vintage Mew Speaks toy? So apparently it's a plush Mew toy, right? That literally speaks. This is bonkers how good condition the box is. On the back it says the eyes and the tail move as well. And it also speaks. And like it's proper vintage artwork on the back as well. Look how cute he is! The eyes do look a bit creepy, like I think if we got this thing working, I'd, I'd be terrified. That is just mind bending! And then what is this? I literally- Tell me you remember this stuff guys! Tell me you remember this bad boy! So this right here is the battle figures. We've got a Gengar and we've got a Meowth. It's got the classic like, this is pure nostalgic numbers and writing down the bottom there. I just remember this stuff. I go into friends' houses, they had the, mo the uh, Master Ball that was in this packaging. They just had it on the ground and you'd play with this sort of stuff. And then we've got the see-through Pokeball for Gengar. And then on the back it's got, you can collect the rest of the set as well. You can get Flareon Eevee, which would probably be the coolest one. Gengar is awesome as well. Pidgeot. I hope you guys realise, I'm putting every single one of these items on display in my collection. Like, and I, oh, oh, oh wow! Look at this guys, look at this! This ro- <laughs> This is it. This is bonkers. It is the Pokemon the first movie, Burger King Cups. So hopefully like you get an HD shot of the entire cup right here. But inside, in mint condition, somebody's gone to Burger King when Pokemon the first movie came out and they bought all- <gasps> Look at the art on this cup. I never thought I'd say that sentence in my life. This is unreal. Seriously, I think, I think this hits more nostalgia for me than like a Pokemon card sometimes. And the classic Pikachu as well. What is this? What is this? This looks like an extremely rare vintage t-shirt. Honestly, this Pikachu alone just looks ex like, that looks like trophy Pikachu, you know? Like extremely nostalgic. Should we open it up? It's got an ad right there and it says free size. I reckon we open it up. I think, you know what? I'm not in this for keeping it for selling. I'm in this for displaying it and like, oh wow. So there's the advertisement. I'll keep that in mean condition. Classic like picture from the anime and we're gonna do it. It's called free size. So it could be a kid shirt or a, I'm hoping a large shirt. Cause I, yep, it looks pretty large. Like this looks wearable. Holy aunt, that is ridiculous vintage. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there is a vintage Raichu and Pikachu. Got the red text, or it's more orange text to be honest, but Pokemon logo beanie. And this is proper old. Look at that thing. Can you see all the uh, little sprites and all the... It's like the... It's like a fat Raichu and a fat Pikachu, which I kind of love. What is this? Oh my god, what? The man sent me Pokemon curtains, guys. We could be putting curtains up. Look at this! Can you see that? It's actually like Pokemon official. I'm not gonna open these because it'd be a nightmare unfolding all those, but this is a Psyduck Pokemon curtain set. So you know it's your birthday and you're thinking, man, I'd love a Pikachu cake right now, but you can't afford to get a Pikachu cake. You pop one of these on top and you've got a Pokemon Pikachu official cake. That is, un maybe we should make printed Pokemon decal. Maybe we should make a cake and put this on top. It's just like classic old Pokemon where the sprite is just bouncing out of all those action lines. I think this puppy is the final thing. I hope it, yeah, I think it, I think it's something, it's just really protected. But yeah, that was the mystery box, which is just unbelievable. <laughs> what is this? What on the, what the fl, oh, what the heck? Stickers. No way! Pokemon did ice cream! That's been- look at this, literally, it's a Pikachu ice cream! And these are the promotional stickers that I guess they sent to the stores, because you'd peel the backing right here and <laughs> stick them on, I guess, the tub of ice cream at the service station or the petrol station. Oh my god, and then this, I guess, is the 
thing you'd put above it because the, the flavor is strawberry and lemon ice candy. I, do you guys remember this? Like maybe in America this was a lot more in abundance, but we had some of this in Australia, but definitely not the curtains or like, I don't know. I mean, for example, we don't even have Burger King here in Australia. It's called Hungry Jacks. So this is crazy nostalgic. Should we do a bit of a recap for uh, recap time? I, th I think it's worth it. All of this stuff is just like right up my alley. Does it make you guys, like, do you guys have this rush of, whoa, that is cool. Because that's what I get when I see this stuff, and it makes me so happy. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know about you, but I just feel this wave of nostalgia. It was the most fun unboxing ever, and this talking Hasbro Mew was just like the icing on the cake. I don't know how he found something in such good condition, so I literally, I messaged Vintage Pokemon Hunter, and I was asking him, where did you get something like this? And apparently he found it in an abandoned storage locker. How awesome is that? It was from someone's collection. Then guys, he sent us vintage Pokemon curtains. I know everyone wanted to see that. You can show your mum or something. That's just, I don't know, the funniest thing ever. They got silhouettes on them. Got that free vintage Pokemon Pikachu t-shirt. And if you love the vintage Pikachu, you'll love the vintage Pikachu and Raichu original orange beanie. And look, these printed band-aids are just a sign of the time. Like, wasn't this such a big thing back in the day, printed style band-aids? I wish they were as cool as they once were, but honestly, I think we peaked at the Pokemon ones. Then you got your birthday cake topper, and look at this Pokemon toy. I have got a bone to pick though. Why'd they put the Meowth in the Master Ball? Like, who's gone and used a clear ball on Gengar and a Master Ball Meowth? These Burger King cups have the greatest artwork. My biggest one is the birds. Like, that is just such amazing vintage art. And these Popsicle Pikachu stickers are insanely rare, apparently. He was telling me, like, these are the stickers they put on the ice cream van to deliver the Pokemon Popsicles. And, like, there's actually a pretty big market for collectors of these, like, vintage ice cream stickers. So I thought that was so awesome, and that was a lot of fun. And the icing on the cake for me was finding my original Pokemon binder with all these EX cards, all these, like, shining Neo cards. It's all stuff that I've either literally pulled on the channel or I loved so much years and years ago that I went and bought it off eBay. This was when I was first getting back into Pokemon cards and this was my original binder and I can't believe that for all this time I just sort of forgot about it and it was at the bottom of the collection. It must have happened if I moved house but I'm so happy I've got all this stuff now and I just feel this wave of like happiness and this is what gets me going for Pokemon collecting. Thank you again to the Vintage Pokemon Hunter.